What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Dubstar. And we're going back to the 1995 album Disgraceful. Once again, shout out to friend and champion of the channel, Philip, for making this available and suggesting it in the first place. Uh, and the f next track in the playlist is called Not Once, Not Ever. It sounds um, almost defiant, like strident, um, adamant, forceful. Um, now, obviously, it might not be said in that way, um, but it makes me think the sentiment um, is one of taking a strong stand against some suggestion, entreaty, um, or other uh, possibility. So, you know, the idea is that this not only won't happen even once, but it won't happen ever. Like, not just now is it not going to happen even once, um, but there will be no time in the future in which this will take place, at least if the narrator or the person saying that um, has their way. So, um, you know, there's a number of contexts which that could be maybe relevant. The idea of someone's, you know, trying to get intimate or friendly with someone, it's like, no, not once, not ever. Um, that immediately comes to mind. Not sure if it would be something that on the nose, but ultimately it does make me think about a sort of firm stand being taken against the possibility of something. So let's find out what that is. This is Dubstar, not once, not ever, and it's from the 1995 album Disgraceful. <laughs>
fantastic. Um, lyrically, from what it sounds like, it's a person who got involved and, you know, it's almost like she's saying, I was a bit naive, I was younger, I didn't quite see this for what it was, and then, you know, even though it's been two, maybe three years, and, you know, obviously I couldn't trust you, not even once, but somehow I'm still writing to you, so it sounds like she's still kind of processing what happened and trying to come to terms with it, if only, like, cathartically through, you know, saying what she wants to this person, although if she's writing it, it seems unclear whether this person will ever actually read um, the comments uh, that have been written. So, um, yeah, there's maybe an un a sense of being, it being unresolved both in her mind and in the actual world. Um, but yeah, I enjoy the kind of moodiness of the tune. It was a bit dark, a bit sort of like, um, again, I think I said surly. It felt like a bit angry about what had happened, but still, you know, sort of like trying to <clears throat> find like a balanced kind of place. So, um, in a way, it felt like the Sonics were kind of, you know, coming along with the lyrical theme. So, uh, really cool tune. Uh, we'll try to get to Dubstar more regularly. Uh, and just in general, if there's something that I haven't gotten to in a little while, something that, you know, um, I said that I wanted to react to, but then it's sort of fallen off, um, just remind me, just say a comment, just, hey, you know, are you meaning to get back to that? Or, you know, when was the last time you did one of these? I will not be offended. So, just do let me know if there's one that slipped. Because um, I am going through so many now, <clears throat> it is getting a little bit hard to keep everything clear. So, um, yeah, if, if there is one that I slip off of, do let me know. And if it's Dubstar, please do let me know. Because uh, I do want to go through this um, regularly. And indeed, um, I believe this is not the only album in there. I believe there's a couple albums in there. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, when we get to the end of this, which we're getting closer to. I think there's maybe like two or three more songs in this album, and then we'll be on to the next one. So, in any case, let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.